So in unit one, resolution and composition of forces. This is chapter three, force couple systems. There is one important principle. That is principle of parallel transfer of forces. So this concept is very, very important, especially to find out the position of resultant for a general force system. You please note down the statement first. Principle of parallel transfer of forces. Or resolution of force into a force and a couple. So we are resolving force into two parts. One is force, other one is couple. So without changing the effect. Please note down the statement. It states that when a force is transferred, when a force is transferred parallelly, from one point to another point on a rigid body, from one point to another point on a rigid body, that force is accompanied by, that force is accompanied by a couple or moment whose magnitude whose magnitude is equal to the force multiplied by the perpendicular distance force multiplied by the perpendicular distance between the two lines of action of the forces. Two lines of action of the forces. Understood? Because it is very important principle. It states that When a force is transferred parallelly from one point to another on a rigid body it is accompanied by a moment or couple whose magnitude is equal to the force multiplied by the perpendicular distance. You please do not write the short form. By the perpendicular distance between 
the lines of action of both the forces. To understand this statement better, we will take one example. Suppose, let us consider this as a body. Force P Force P is acting at point A on a rigid body. So this force will have some effect on this body. That effect of force on the body is twofold. Means it may produce translation or it may produce rotation. Right, is the effect of force on the rigid body. Now, <clears throat> there is the same body I'm considering. There is force P acting at A. Now I'm considering another point B on the rigid body. Now I'm applying two forces of magnitude P in the opposite direction at point B. See, initially force P is acting at A, which will have some effect. Now, at some other point B, I am applying two forces of equal magnitude, same as the force P, parallel to the force P and in the opposite direction. Now, when I am applying these two forces of magnitude P at B, is there any change in the effect of this force P, which is acting at A on a rigid body? Yes or no? No. no. Why? No, because these two forces sir, are equal. The forces they are equal in magnitude, opposite in direction, collinear in action. So the resultant of these two forces is zero. Means this system is in equilibrium, right? These two forces are forming an equilibrium system. As per principle of superposition of forces, when a system which is in equilibrium is added or subtracted, the effect of the original system remains same, right? That means I can say that now, these two systems are equivalent means the effect of the force system on the body remains same. So the given system having only one force, which is acting at A. Now this new system is total three forces are acting. One at A and two at B, but the effect remains same. Say the perpendicular distance between these lines of action of the forces is D. Now what is the definition of couple? How do you define couple? Two equal and opposite parallel forces are said to form a couple, right? Now, if you consider this force P which is acting at A and this force P which is acting at B, equal magnitude, opposite in direction, parallel in action. So you can replace these two parallel forces with a couple, am I right? And what is the sense of the couple? Yes, what is the sense of the couple formed by these two forces? Clockwise. 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 And the magnitude of the couple Clockwise. will be P, product of any one of the force into perpendicular distance between them. So it is a clockwise couple of magnitude P into D. But this force P is acting at B. We are not touching that force. So force P is acting at B. And we are replacing these two parallel forces with a clockwise couple of magnitude M, which is equal to P into D. Now, is there any change in the effect of the forces, force system on the body? No. Simply as per the definition, I am replacing these two parallel forces with a couple, clockwise couple. Hence, there is no change in the effect. So these two systems are equivalent. Therefore, 
the given system is equivalent to this final system what is the original system given system for speed acting at point a on a rigid body what is the final system which we have got after doing this entire process procedure following this procedure for speed acting at b in addition there is a clockwise couple m is also acting which means i am transferring this force p which is acting at a parallelly to another point b so when a force is transferred parallelly from one point to another point that force is accompanied by a couple or moment whose magnitude is force into perpendicular distance between the lines of action of the forces that is principle of parallel transfer of forces understood so by doing so by transferring yes. this force from one point to another point parallelly the effect of this force on the body is unaltered it remains same means simply what we are doing initially there is a force p is acting at a finally we are having two parts one is force p which is acting at b and a couple means simply we are resolving this force p into two parts one is force second is couple that is the meaning of resolution of force into a force and couple see let us consider a body say rod ab force of 15 newton is acting at a so this force will have some effect on the body which is the translation as well as rotation see here when a force p is applied at a i'm saying it is having the effect of translation rotation this translation is because of this force translation is because of the force and this rotation is because of this couple or moment that is the effect of the moment now see 15 newton is acting at a say the length of this rod is 2 meters now whatever the effect that this force will have on the rod ab when it is applied at a you are going to get the same effect if you apply a force of magnitude 15 newton at b along with a couple of magnitude 50 into 2 that is 100 newton meter so you are applying this force p at a you are having some effect you are going to get the same effect if you apply the same force at b now but along with this couple that is the meaning of this when a force is transferred from one point to another point parallelly that force is accompanied by a couple whose magnitude is that force into perpendicular distance but here what is the sense of the couple it should be anti clockwise point to be noted because this p is forming anti clockwise rotation about point b so this sense of the moment is anti clockwise whereas here when you are transferring this p from a to b it is forming clockwise couple but here when you are transferring here from a to b it is forming anti clockwise sense understood so you can understand it better by solving numerical examples so in force couple systems we are going to solve three types of examples one is finding the moment of a force about a particular point which is very very important for force couple systems and second one is if a force is given at a particular point we are replacing that force with an equivalent force couple system that means we are resolving that force into a force and couple that's what we have studied now and the third part is reverse when a force and a couple are combined 
resultant will be a force are you getting me or not yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir just yes, yes. yes sir no let us consider this plane say a b c d force is acting say 20 newton at point a making an angle 30 degrees so the size of this plane is say this is 5 meters 2 meters now i want to transfer this 20 newton force from point a to point c parallelly so when a force is transferred parallelly from one point to another point parallelly means the direction of this force remains same 30 degrees with horizontal that force is accompanied by a moment and what is the sense of the moment we are transferring from a to c so about point c it is creating clockwise sense so it is a clockwise moment of magnitude that 20 into perpendicular distance from the line of action of the force to point c suppose this d is the perpendicular distance so it is 20 into d from geometry that you can find out or otherwise you can resolve this uh, 20 newton force which is acting at a into horizontal component and vertical component so it is making 30 so 20 cos 30 horizontal or x component it is 20 sin 30 now moment about c moment of horizontal component is clockwise minus 20 cos 30 into for a horizontal component perpendicular distance 2 meters 2 meters and moment of vertical component again clockwise minus 20 sin 30 for a vertical component horizontal distance is perpendicular that will be 5 meters so this way you can find out the moment of force about c means you can replace that force which is acting at a with the same force of magnitude acting at c along with a clockwise couple mc the effect remains same so this is principle of parallel transfer or resolution of force due to force and couple now when you combine this force and couple what you will get when you combine this force and couple you will get a resultant which will be the same force and it will go back to its original position am i right so when you are transferring this force 20 newton from a to c then it is accompanied by a moment now when you combine that force and moment then it will go back to its original position means you can say this 20 newton is the resultant of 20 newton which is acting at c and this couple are you getting my point yes sir 